<laughs> so this, why are we here today? Um, last year, um, Wikimedia Foundation had a conference in London in the Barbican. I live quite close to, so I thought I should go along and, and look around. Um, and I had hundreds and hundreds of people coming to me, and I had a wonderful time, and I'm, I'm, I have been talking to a lot of people, um, and I got very interested what you have to say. They all had the same question from me. But Gregory, what are you doing as a librarian? So I felt with Gemma that we have to put together a very small, short presentation uh, from the librarian's perspective, what we are trying to do. And it's kind of linked with Alex's talk. Hopefully it will make sense. Um, so the talk we are trying to do today is Wikipedia and the role of academic librarians. Um, what we are going to do today is, well, first of all, dance a little bit because it's the two of us. Um, so um, we would like to talk about ourselves, so who we are and where we are coming from, and just give an understanding um, of the place where we work at. Um, then we're going to move on and talk why we are trying to do what we are doing um, and uh, mention um, barriers that we face with. Um, then, of course, we are all to talk about what we are trying to do, focusing on our colleagues uh, and students, um, and then a bit of conclusion at the end. Um, so over to Gemma. Okay, so yeah, um, my name's Gemma. I'm, I guess I'm relatively new to the library profession. Um, I qualified in 2009, and since then I've worked in university libraries. I was in a regional universities London campus, and now I'm working at Regents University London, where my primary role is as a reader services librarian, which is sort of customer service based, um, sort of front of house library services. Um, but I'm also the academic liaison librarian for the School of Psychotherapy and Psychology. Um, my interest in Wikipedia stems from more of a general interest in collaboratively produced information that's produced out with the sort of traditional academic bounds. So when I was doing my uh, dissertation for my master's qualification, I began to do some research into attitudes towards Wikipedia among the academic community, um, um, in particular the sort of perceived barriers that, that come up in conversations when we're talking about Wikipedia. And since I've been at Regents, I've been trying to sort of bring some of that um, knowledge and um, learn more about that in the context specifically of the university library. I told you we're going to dance a lot around. Um, so my job title is Collections Librarian. Um, sometimes I don't really know what that means because it means quite a lot. But generally speaking, that means managing the printed and electronic collections. Um, and that involves purchasing books, uh, withdrawing books, donations, and cataloging. Um, I've been a librarian since 2001. Originally, I'm from Hungary, um, but currently living in the UK. So I have an understanding of two different types of countries' attitudes towards libraries. Um, I have been editing um, articles on Wikipedia for a few years now, but usually just two, three, um, and then last year, the shock happened to me when I went along to the uh, conference. Um, um, so that's kind of changed my um, life. And ever since I'm involved with GLAM and I'm talking a lot about Wikipedia and GLAM to other librarians um, in the UK. I'm also an academic librarian for, for another school. Um, what academic librarians means uh, will be explained by Gemini. Okay, so academic liaison librarians, which is what we are, um, they're often called subject librarians. Um, we play quite an important role in the university library. So, for example, at our institution, we have three main areas of interest. Uh, the first one is kind of obvious from the title. We liaise with academic staff. Um, we also provide training and assistance to staff and students. And we purchase resources for that department. Um, so we work really closely with academics and students from our subject area to discover what resources and library support that they need um, for their teaching and for their studies. I think working in this role has allowed us to develop a, a special relationship with the department we're assigned. So, for example, um, we do things like provide general library inductions, we run training sessions on accessing and using information, um, we hold one-to-one -one training sessions with researchers, students and academics, um, we also get to attend course meetings, feedback sessions, 
And these interactions give us the opportunity to promote the library and its services, but they also give us the opportunity to talk about new projects and to bring up things like Wikipedia. Now on to better images than these two. Um, so we are from Regents University London, England. Um, Regents University London um, is relatively a new university. Um, although it, it has a long heritage, it started in 1908 uh, as Batford College. Uh, and it's a very important college in, in the history of the um, British uh, higher education because it's, this was the first college that allowed women to get degrees. Um, um, and um, women were allowed to go to university in the UK at the end of the 19th century, but they couldn't get a degree. And Batford College was one of the first colleges, apart from the University of London, although it was part of the University of London that could actually give degree to women. Um, so we have a hundred years old history. Um, in 1980, well, Batford College got bankrupted, um, and in 1980, uh, an American university called Regents College arrived to the complex. The university is based in London, as the name indicates, in the middle of Regents Park, which is a royal park. Um, so when the American university arrived in 1980, it basically taught very liberal American-style degrees, um, and that's kind of part of our heritage. Um, so the, the college, as it was called back in that time, worked hard towards um, degree award power. So by 2013, we achieved a university status, and ever since we are able to uh, provide university degree. Uh, we do have seven different, seven different schools, and that's also sort of important, I think, for you to know um, that um, the seven different schools um, is very diverse. Uh, so we have two business schools, uh, a drama and film and performing arts school, um, a language institute, psychotherapy and psychology school, um, and a fashion and drama school. Plus, the American University is still within Regents University London. Um, it's extremely diverse in terms of students and staff. Um, if I may talk a little bit about the students, because we are a private university, the United Kingdom only has two private universities. The other one is a really small, we don't like talking about that. So we are a big private university, we are not for profit, so we are not, not there to make profit. And I think again that's, that's kind of um, influences or attitude towards higher education. Uh, because we are um, a private university, we don't really get a lot of uh, um, national students, British students coming and studying with us. So we have a lot of international students with us. Um, and that again means that we are extremely diverse when it comes to the student population. We have uh, approximately 3,500 students, full-time students studying with us. Um, I ought to say a few words about the library as well. Um, so we have two site libraries um, uh, across three different places. Uh, we have around 50,000 records in our catalogue, including uh, e-books, printed books, and um, serials, journals, and magazines. Uh, we are open seven days a week, and during exam time, we are open 24-7. Um, so that's just very briefly. So now I'm going to hand it, um, the microphone over to Gemma, who can talk about why we are doing what we are doing, hopefully. Okay, um, I'm just going to talk about three main reasons that I think stand out um, that drove us to go forward with Wikipedia at university. Um, the first one is, um, I think we all really know, Wikimedia, Wikipedia use among students is very high. Um, it's widely used as both a personal and academic information resource, and I think in particular as a tool for beginning research. So we really need to exploit this. I think it's our duty as academic librarians to help students use all resources, not just the ones we traditionally think of as you know, academic. We want to help students use Wikipedia really well, so we need to show them how it works, get them to understand it. And I think while we're at it, why not try and get them involved if we can get them contributing and see if we can get them to you know, improve the resource as well. I think secondly, there's a really demonstrable opportunity for Wikipedia to be exploited as a learning and teaching resource, as a way of um, developing and improving some key skills. 
Um, participation in Wikipedia is a great way to incorporate collaborative skills into the curriculum, whether that's collaborating with students in the classroom or collaborating on a wider field with other Wikipedians. Um, I think what's quite nice as well is it allows students to try out working in the non-university environment. Um, creating and editing Wikipedia articles also provides an opportunity to really work on language skills, and that's really important for us as an international university. Um, learning how to produce clear, factual, bias-free and accessible writing is a really important skill, um, as are the opportunities to practice copywriting and translation. I think it's really the responsibility of our sector to equip students with the research skills to work with all types of information resources. Learning to use and participate in the production and editing of articles enables them to improve key research skills, um, thinking about peer review, source finding, critical thinking and evaluation. I think it also has the added benefit of experiencing criticism from peers, learning how to deal with it and respond to it in a professional manner. And Gregory's going to come back to these later when we talk about what kind of things we've done to tie into these key skills. I think finally, we want to promote Wikipedia at work due to the importance of accessibility and knowledge sharing to the library profession. I think providing access to information for all and the training to use that information is the key goal of our profession. Um, and when we're putting this together, it made me think a little bit about the code of conduct, the code of ethics that we have as librarians. And I wanted to pick up on the IFLA, which is the International Federation of Library Associations. And it sets out in its code of ethics that in order to promote inclusion and eradicate discrimination, librarians and other information workers ensure that the right of accessing information is not denied and that equitable services are provided for everyone. I think this ethos collaborates really well with that of Wikipedia. Um, when we think about the mission statement of the Wikimedia Foundation, uh, but, you know, about empowering and engaging people around the world to collect and develop educational content. And the key thing for me, that, you know, disseminating it effectively. So as such, we kind of see it as our responsibility to promote and add to the community of sharing in Wikipedia from the higher education community. Um, so, there's lots of great positive reasons for getting involved in Wikipedia in universities, but we have come across a few barriers. Um, I think to start with, we can't get away from the fact that there is still a heated debate about Wikipedia and its use in higher education. I think common concerns that we hear expressed by academics usually relate to a perceived lack of veracity in Wikipedia, concerns it maybe isn't accurate, that it's unreliable, we can't trust it. And I think this generally relates to the fact that it's out with the traditional academic peer review system. It leads to questions of trust, issues of control, management. But I think something that's quite prominent at the moment, particularly in the UK, is um, related to sort of philosophical tensions. So academics can sometimes seem to work in a very insular and competitive world. Um, there can be a real fear of sharing knowledge because promotion and job opportunities are so linked um, to publishing in academic journals. Um, there's a hesitance to share research and knowledge openly. And I think the democratization of knowledge displayed really clearly in Wikipedia is therefore seen by some as a bit of a threat to their role. Um, so sort of aside from those kind of things, there's also really practical barriers that we've, we've found. You know? um, one of the challenges that we're trying to overcome is a lack of engagement between library staff and academic staff. We've recently had an increase in staff in our library, which has allowed us to grow our academic liaison program, going from three members to seven members. And that means we have you know, more of an opportunity to attend meetings, network, get to know the academic staff. But building relationships <coughs> takes a lot of time and effort from both sides. Um, I think, crucially, finding times to get students and academics together also poses a challenge. Dealing with time-sensitive priorities means that projects like this can get sidelined really easily. Um, also, it's incredibly hard to persuade students to attend a non-compulsory, non-credit-bearing session. Um, you know. <laughs> um, so providing the time for education, promotion, training, and then follow-up support is really difficult. We have finite time and resources to work with, and you know, we have quite a few challenges to overcome. So now I'm going to hand over to Gregory, who's going to talk about some of the things that we have done and that we're hoping to do. Thank you. Um, so there are two librarians. One of them still has a smiling monkey behind his desk from last year's foundation conference, um, which probably some of you still have got the monkey from last year. Um, so we know what we need to do. You know, again, I'm pointing back to Alex. We understand our barriers. Uh, we understand what we should do. Um, but I would like to 
give you an insight what we can do um, in the context that you heard before in a small university when we have a million other things to do, but deep down both of us are still passionate to still do something. Um, outside of working hour, that's a whole different word. We are here as academic librarians. Of course, after five, both of us become the Wikipedians, but that's not the talk um, about today. So what we are trying to do always first is, and what we did in the past is, first we always thought that we need to uh, focus on our colleagues um, who are smiling here in a group photograph, and we need to increase their understanding of Wikipedia. Um, and especially when I talk, well, when we talk about Wikipedia to our colleagues, we always focus on um, the five policies, because I think we both agree that we need them to understand Wikipedia's five policies, which you are all aware of. Um, and quite often, um, we are a bit cheeky. What we always do is, um, we always get the same question, yes, but Wikipedia is not reliable, go away. So we always bring the example of the 2005 study uh, when Wikipedia was compared to the Encyclopedia Britannica, and that's when we get our attention. Wow, I, you know, I didn't know that. And that's the point when I always come in and say, well, did you know how many people visited Regents University London Wikipedia page? Oh, nobody would do that. Why would that? So then the number goes up, and then again all the academics, wow, I never thought about that, that people actually go and look at Wikipedia. Um, so what we did in the past, and what we, are dry, what we are doing still, is something that we call tricks of the trade. So these are like 45 minutes, um, very informal um, mini conferences, when basically we have the opportunity um, to advertise that we're going to deliver a short presentation on Wikipedia, um, academics and non-academics are invited to come along, uh, ask questions, bring their lunch, um, and it's kind of uh, opening the word up for them. Uh, this is usually on various topics, but we do this every year. The other thing is what Regions has is a staff conference, uh, which um, once a year during the summer, and anybody can talk about whatever they want. So those who don't want to learn how to cook or wine tasting session, they can come and listen to all talks about Wikipedia. And it's also because it's very informal, it's quite popular, and a lot of people come to our talks, um, and it's very eye-opening. But we also have a lot of presentations, mainly focusing on our library colleagues, because that's okay that two librarians are passionate in the university, but we work in a team with archivists, so we also think that it's very important that our own colleagues should understand what we are doing and why we are doing. So the next, next things we are doing is, I just put up these keywords for you. Um, so the first three is uh, university-wide programs um, and focusing uh, librarians and archivists. But of course, our main goal and aim is to reach academics. So every time we talk and we meet academics, and Gemma brought a few examples how we do that during program committee or validations or meetings, we always tend to focus on making the connection that Wikipedia and libraries, they have the, and academics, they ha at the end of the day, they have the same goal. So we push our academics towards the idea that why don't you propose to your students to write an assignment, um, to review an assignment. You might remember I mentioned that we have a very international student body, um, so um, a lot of people speak more than two or three languages even. So also we talk to our academics um, and say why don't you ask your students to translate or copy edit an article. Um, um, we have a school, as I mentioned, about media and film, so that gives up an opportunity to talk to those academics and ask them to ask their students to add an illustration um, or send their students away. They should uh, take photographs on video um, or film in, um, and then they should go back to uh, Wikipedia. And what we feel is that all these assignments, and they are slowly happening. Um, I have to admit that the write and review an assignment, that's not something 
happening. But the second two, translating and adding illustration, copy editing, that seemed to be picking up, perhaps again because of our student body, That's very, because it's very international. But what we feel that all these tasks are very strongly linked to the skills that Gemma mentioned earlier. So those who write and review, um, um, translate, these are all translated to research skill, language skill, IT skill, and collaboration skills. But then, of course, this is just one part of the story. The second part of the story is to focusing on students. Um, and we, we had a few ideas, and we have even more ideas. So, so far, we've been working really closely with the student union at Regents to start a Wikipedia club. And that's because what we feel that, again, if we increase the understanding of Wikipedia for students, um, when they leave university, you will have those people available for your projects. Um, but first, they have to kind of get hooked for the idea um, for Wikipedia. So what we are trying to do is start a Wikipedia club where people can just come along, just open an account, just understand how the system works, uh, what the policies are, and kind of just you know, start the whole process. Of course, both of us are extremely passionate about editathons, so we've been trying to organize um, events like Women's Days or LGBT History Months and just get some students come and uh, meet us and edit certain pages, hoping that when they leave the door, when they, when they go through the door and they leave the room, they would continue in their private life. Um, and we also, trying to make our students involved with Wikipedia education programs. Uh, we're trying to make them understand that um, there is a possibility there for them to cooperate uh, with the program and there's online help available. Um, but our major aim is then basically to write an article, review an article, translate, copy, edit, or add illustration outside their academic life. So a few words about conclusions. Um, hopefully the future is better looking than regions during the winter in the snow. Um, so this is, this is just the beginning of our process. Um, what we are trying to do at the beginning is just train people, train our colleagues, and just increase the understanding. I know for some of you it sounds very small, but this is what we trying to do is just increase the understanding of Wikipedia. But of course we have plans for the future. We are always looking for suggestions and inspiration and ideas from other librarians or Wikipedians. We tend to come to a lot of conferences as well uh, related to Wikipedia or open access. Um, as I mentioned earlier, what we are trying to do is develop students so when they leave regions, um, they will have the skills and the understanding to use Wikipedia and hopefully they will be into continuing using it and also they will be motivated to be involved in the Wikipedia community. We also think, um, as librarians, that more library museum archive workers need to be involved with Wikipedia. Um, I used to work for a National Archives for seven years and nobody understood Wikipedia and I was the only one and I was um, a member of team of 25 and that's a really appealing number if you think that 20, out of 25 people I was the only one who had understanding of Wikipedia. So I put up more glam workers because I think that's also very important uh, to focus more librarians, museum um, professionals, archive workers. And then CILIP. CILIP is the professional body for librarians in the UK. And this is again, we feel that the professional body for librarians um, is just not doing enough in the UK. I think the professional body CILIP should play a leading role in promoting um, Wikipedia. Um, and this would provide an opportunity to encourage participation among a much wider professions rather than a few librarians just struggling in a small university. Um, and then Gemma will make one more point at the end. I just wanted to very quickly say that I think it's that we know we do have a responsibility as academic librarians. We're in a really fortunate position. We work closely with academics and with students and we really need to utilize the position that we're in and, um, and really encourage the use of Wikipedia, challenge some of the barriers, the perceived barriers that the academic community have towards it. Um, and you know, so that we remember that Wikipedia 
it's not just for us, but it, you know, it's for all of us. Thank you. Thank you.